Bye. 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 Adding the warm rig, adding pipes, rings, band stuff models, and adopt me pet. Yeah, well, basically all the basic stuff. So, the app I'm going to be using is Blender and Roblox Studio. The Blender version is the Blender 2.79. The link for it will be linked in the description down below. And yeah. Okay, guys, so first off, we're going to open Roblox Studio. Then, I'm going to search up load character in plugins how to download it if you guys don't know or if you guys new into making drip so first you're going to search up load character over here then look for the free one click on download and once you're done you're going to go up here to plugins then click on load character so search up any roblox username you want to make a drip I'm gonna make a JFX for myself, so I'm just going to search up my username. Then make sure the spawn at origin is crossed and spawn R6. There. And to move, click WASD with your mouse to just move like this. So, yeah. Next, we're gonna look for the model. You can go up and search up any model you want over here or I have model saves so I'm going to use my own model. So I'm going to use the aesthetic pastel bedroom. You guys can get this model in my inventory if you guys want to use it. So what I like to do is I like to plan out like how the GFX will look like. So I usually just go into model and just drag this thing, drag the avatar and like plan out where I want to be. So I think I'm gonna make the avatar sitting like on the stairs. Let's just turn this a bit like this. So I'm gonna rotate this. So I think I'm gonna make it sitting here. Then I'm just gonna get like a prop. For the prop, I think I'm gonna choose like a dog, an adopt me dog. You guys can choose any other props, but in this video, I'll be using a adopt me dog. So I'm gonna search adopt me dog. Then this is a dog that I'll be using. Okay, guys. So I'm not. Oh, okay. So here's a dog. Well, anyways, so once I have the dog, I'm going to change the face. You guys can use any face you want, but for this video, I'll be using a super, super happy face. So I'm going to go to models and go to image. Then search on super, super happy face. There. And then to like put the super, super happy face like on your face you go you're going to go to this like little arrows over here then go on to head click on the arrow then face you guys want to delete the face you can just like right click then delete and drag on one of the faces i'm going to use this face so i'm gonna drag it to my avatar so once I drag it, I think I have everything ready. So I'm going to export this. Okay, and to export, you're going to go onto your user, right click, then export selection. And just choose any file you wanna put the object that I need to. So let's get this part. Insert. Then the model to. So I'm going to export the model as well. Oh yeah, and also, like you cannot see the export selection on this model. I'm not sure why, but it has been happening for a few days. But I'll just show you guys like a picture up in the screen, 
how it should look like so basically you just do the same like there will be like an export selection button down here like below the publish as plugin so yeah then just export it just like how you export the avatar models usually take a while so you have to be patient maybe around one to two minutes depending how big the model size is so once you open up the woman rig you're going to shift f to move on your keyboard it's like shift f then WASD. So I'm going to delete the head. I'm going to right click, then X to delete. Or you can right click, then shift, right click, and so on. So I'm just gonna delete like this. And I'm going to add the texture of the avatar. So I'm going to click on the arms, then drag this down here and then go to this little cube boxes thingy and click on node editor then zoom in and look for image texture and click on this file icon and open up your texture so once i open up i'm going to drag this up here and import the head so to import, you're going to go on to File, then Import, Wavefront OBJ, and open up your file. So once I import the head, I'm going to share it back again. Then I'm going to go to Tools over here, then Set Origin and Origin to Geometry. Geometry. And then just move your avatar like this. I'm going to. Oh, wait. so I'm gonna show you guys. This is to move. Then this one is to rotate like this. Like this. Then this one is to scale. So we're gonna use the rotate one and delete the body over here. To delete, it'll be right click then X and then I'm going to choose all the avatar accessories along with the head and hair so I'm going to right click shift right click and so on then I'm going to go here and click on join and move the head to the body so I'm just gonna do this like this and I'm going to move the necklace to and the back well yeah and now we're going to import the model it'll be the same way as how i imported the accessories so i'm going to file import then we from obj so once the model is imported i'm going to go on and click on origin to geometry then move like this I'm going to move the model right here so I'm gonna look for the stairs the stairs is here so I'm just going to turn the model like this there and yeah so I'll just put the model here and start on the JFX oh before I start I'm going to import the dot too so I'll just import waveform obj then origin to geometry so I'm just gonna leave the dog here as for now I'm gonna leave it there and drag my avatar so to select the avatar I'm going to right click the rig thingy then right click my head and the back with a necklace and start posing so this is how you guys will pose so I'll make this thing this JFX setting so this is what I usually like to do so I think I wanna like move the foot like this 
than the other one and the ankle down here so I wanna make the avatar sitting like this there and then I'm going to select the head so I'll, I think I'll just leave the accessories here for now and work on them later on so I'm going to move the body over here just like this sitting on the stairs yeah so it's going to sit like, like this and I'm going to yeah well I'm just going to pose pose the JFX this and I'm going to like get the dog so I usually like to join their heads all together so it won't be confusing I'm just gonna join the dog's head and the body with the tail then select all of this and move the dog so I'm gonna make myself like carrying the dog as if like I'm just holding the dog like I don't know how to describe oh my gosh so just gonna say me well I'm not sure if I can okay so I'm, I think I'm just gonna like make the dog like I'm gonna make the animal the dog so First, I like to add the camera. So I'm just going to add, then camera, and then change. And then click on this camera logo icon C and I change the resolution to a thousand by a thousand. Then view camera and a shift F and move the camera. So I want the camera to be. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. So okay, guys, don't mind this part. I'm just moving the accessories because it's disturbing. So, the camera depends, like, if you want it to be like a full body GFX or just like a half body, you guys can actually just adjust the camera according to what you want. So, I think I'll just adjust the camera like this. I want it to be like a full body, actually, a half body or maybe a full body. Okay, I'll just do half, guys, so... Yeah. Just like this. Then I'm going to move. So we're just going to start posing, you guys. Just play around with these rigs. Just move, like, however you want it to move. So I'm going to pose this. So this is how I like... So this is how I, I like to do it. I usually just like pose the body first. Like if I want the body to face here or face there. Then I'm going to move like this. I'm going to move here. Okay, so I'm officially done with posing the dog and the avatar. And next, this is what I like to do to spice up the GFX. I usually like to add the accessories, not accessories, like the... I usually like to add some of these stuffs on the sides, so... I'm going to add this little bunny over here. This camera. Yeah, 
So, just like that. Well, so I'm done with the first step. Now I'm going to add on the pipes. So this is how you guys add the pipes. You're going to click on add. Then go on to curve. Then path. So you're going to drag the little slime thing here, then add curve circle. I'm going to drag the circle here. Next, I'm going to click on this line thingy and go on to these, this squiggle thingy. Then scroll down and look for bevel object and click on Bezier circle then you're going to pull this and put it and put the pipe wherever you want so i'm gonna put the pipe like in front of here and to scale the pipe we're going to click on this thing and go to camera and just s on your keyboard and scale it down so i'm gonna scale it down like this so this pipe depends like how thick you want it to be. I think I want it to be like this thick. Yeah, I think this is enough. So next I'm going to this is how you like shape the pipes to your liking. So I'm going to click on object, then edit mode. And you can just drag this up and down, or this one up and down, this one, and this one, and this one, and shape it to your liking. So I'm gonna make a heart. So I'm just gonna make. You guys can stop anytime you want it to like bend. So like after you do this, you guys can just like click E again on your keyboard, then go up here and like so on. There, so once I'm done with the pipes, now we're gonna go and how to add a ring. So to add like rings, we're gonna click on add, then go to a mesh and click on torus. And go on to shading, then smooth. And yeah, just put the ring wherever you guys want it to be. Then once I'm done, I'm going to add blend swap models. So to add a blend swap, blend swap models, we're gonna click on file, then append. So I'm going to add the bubbles first. I decided to add bubbles for this JFX. There are more blend swap models. So I'm just gonna shrink the bubble. I personally like to add bubbles because I just think they look cute. There. And the accessories, I'm just going to grab the accessories right here. And I usually like to do like a skinner rig. So I'm going to look on the torso thingy and go to post mode and change it to object mode. Then go into the scale thingy and just scale it. So this is how you make a skin array. Oh yeah, 
So once I'm done, next I'm going to add the HDRI. To add a HDRI, you're going to click on this, this global icon thingy, then I click on use notes and choose environment texture. So here's how you can add the HDRI to your GFX. I have a video, it'll be linked in the description below. So make sure you guys check it out and just choose any HDRI you want. Open, then choose. So next, I'm going to color. Oh yeah, I forgot to color the pipes. So I'm going to click on this. Right click, then I'm gonna click on this material thing and click on new. You guys can color it whatever, like however you want it to be. If you want it to be like a solid color, you can just choose any color you want. Or if you want it to be clear or like yeah, just like a clear color, you guys can click on diffuse and change it to glass. Well guys, I think the JFX looks great, so now I'm going to render the JFX. To render, you're going to click on this render thingy, then render image. Rendering usually takes like around 5 to 10 minutes depending how detailed your JFX is. So yeah, just leave your computer and let it render for a while. So this is how the JFX turns out. I hope this tutorial is helpful. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment box down below. I'll try my best to answer each one of them. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. See you in another video. Bye!